Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I am fishing a new lake and for the most part I want to start fishing nothing but new lakes before I leave New York. I am at uh, Lake Sebago at Harriman State Park. It's a really nice lake. It's got a kayak launch. Uh, I don't think there's motors allowed on this lake so it's perfect for the kayak. I brought out some minnows from Seely's Bait Shop. Uh, I'm going after some crappie today. Uh, if I can catch some, I'm definitely going to keep like maybe two or three for dinner and that will probably turn out to be a, a video in itself. All right, let's get out there, locate these fish, and try to hook into some nice fat slabs. Okay guys, I definitely see something. I'm not sure if it's a school of fish or not, but I'm definitely gonna mark it. Waypoint. I want to say it's a school of fish. I'm going to go back. Let's backtrack and get right to it. I'm going to jig with this little Berkeley power minnow that I've got and uh, let's see if what it's going to turn out to be. Oh my gosh, it's lit up. Let me show you guys what I'm looking at. All of that down there is nothing but fish. Every once in a while, you'll see an arch separate from the bottom, and it actually comes up. Um, I'm just trying to see what's going to bite this minnow. I just keep feeling them tap it. That's it. That's all they're doing is just lightly tapping it. Let's get a move on. Uh, I'm not sure what this is that is pestering my minnow. But they're they're not taking it so it leads me to believe it's either a small bluegill or a tiny perch something really small that really can't swallow the entire minnow that i've got so i keep a, a move on and uh, try to find the next school it's a whole mess of boulders down here in the bottom side scan is awesome because before all i would see is just little humps on the traditional sonar but now that I've got the side scan, you can just see all how it's just peppered with boulders down there. I could only imagine what a more, uh, like the HDS line of Lorance uh, sonars would look like. Because, I mean, this is really nice, if you ask me. It's well above my uh, Elite Four DSi. Oh wow, nice. Got that one on the drop. I don't know what it is, but it's taking a little bit of the drag from the 500 series Shimano. Oh my gosh, look at this freaking pumpkin seed, guys. <laughs> Tell me if this guy isn't eating. Holy cow, this thing is huge. Okay, notorious for peeing on you. Look, I mean, I've got a large hand, and that thing is all of like maybe seven or eight inches. Holy cow. That is huge. I want to keep crappie, but if these guys are going to keep biting, I'll probably keep a couple of these. It's your lucky day, fella. Let's get this and put this away, and then we'll cast towards this lay down that's right over here. Apologize for the camera work. Got so many things going on at once, kind of hard. Okay, so here we go to the lay down. Let's turn the kayak. There we are right there. Let's see if we can pull anything out of it. Okay, it would help if you fixed your line, Mark. Okay, here we are. Let's try to do this right over there on top of it, let it kind of drop. Apparently there's nothing but haters in this water because uh, that lay down did not produce anything except for a cool looking red ear slider turtle just chilling. All right, all 
right, all right. Yes, we got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, got him, boss. We got him, boss. <laughs> Ooh. Man, that was a close call. All right, fella. That's right, going to the live well. Check this out. This is what we call the live well whenever we're fishing. This right here, the Mirage Drive well. It's got just enough room to put like maybe one or two bunker or whatever it is. Like if you're using bait fish, bunker are about the size of this crappie right here. And that's what I use whenever I was at Jamaica Bay. Uh, it'll keep the fish alive. I would like to keep this guy, but he's a little bit on the small side. I'm glad to see that they're crappie down there though, because this is exactly what I came for. I'm gonna catch a little bit bigger ones and then uh, we'll start keeping them. Large mouth of the day. It's not the biggest one, but hey, it'll work. All right, guys. Ugh, about time, right? <laughs> We've only been at it for about three hours. Finally, something worthwhile. Something to speak of. Little pound and a half. Get big, fella, get big. I'm gonna reset and then go fish right there where that little uh, drop off is again. See if there's any bigger largemouth willing to play. We may just be able to make a video after all. Nice crappie. Of crazy whenever your artificial lures are pulling the freaking load over live minnows that's beyond me never in my wildest dreams would i think that my, my artificials would outfish the live minnows sell the small ones that are willing to bite that is it i know there's got to be at least a couple of three plus pounders in here. Just have not been able to hook into anything like that. Small little taps, a bunch of perch, small crappie, really big bluegills though. Eventually something's gonna bite, it's gotta bite. And then you'd figure with this overcast, it's like prime fishing conditions. There's no wind, there's very slight breeze. Just enough to ripple the, the top of the water. The fish should not be on edge right now. The live minnow working, working this little ripple tail shad. I've caught more fish off of the plastic than, than I have on the minnows. You know, I'm pretty sure it's not just me, guys. Um, it's just really not that, that exciting whenever you go fishing in salt water and you're catching huge fish that just completely try to destroy your rod and reels. Try to destroy your lures, anything that you're using, they try to destroy it. They've got teeth, they are dangerous. And then you come freshwater fishing, the wind is just, it's perfect right now. And you're catching fish, but it just does not quite measure up to the fish from the salt water. I think I've been ruined yeah, I've been rowing. I need to catch me a huge, huge fish. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I do not want to lose this thing right here. I just do not want to lose it. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a pickerel. Just stay under. Don't do the head shakes because I don't want to lose my hook. Ugh. 
Oh, you little sucker. He took my hook, fellas. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. I don't know if that, that cannot be my minnow making those little freaking taps. That minnow is not even that strong. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice crappie. Oh, gosh, baby. Nice crappie. Oh, yes, fellas. Oh, yeah. Look at that slab. This guy is going home. Oh, my God. You know what? <laughs> I don't have a stringer. But I tell you what, I got 20-pound test. And that 20-pound test is about to turn into a stringer. So look at this slab. Oh, my gosh. That's a great slab. One more of these. And I'm gonna be set for dinner, guys. Looks like I will be having some crappie tonight. You wanna eat me some crappie? 20 pound test. Thank goodness I kept that in there. Make a loop and then we'll just feed it through. Okay, so that's all I did was just a nice little loop. And now we gonna get the crappie, feed this end through his gills and place them overboard. Just like that. Place that through there. And now we throw him overboard. We'll make another loop and then just place him right here where the, uh, oh gosh, darn buddy. Chill. <laughs> he almost jerked this line out of my hand. So what I was saying is we take this loop and put it right through here where the paddle goes, just like that. That little crappy ain't going nowhere. I got a lot of fish showing up on the Lowrance. I just, I'm not able to hook them yet. And it could be anything. You know, I can't, can't distinguish between. This was a crappie. Crap it, baby. Crap it right on top of the mouth. This guy is just way too tiny. Ugh. Lucky day, fella. Lucky day. Let's go back down there, see if there's gonna be a bigger one. There we go. Oh my god, please don't get off. Please don't get off. Please don't get off. Please don't get off. Gotcha. All right, there's dinner, guys. <laughs> it only took the whole freaking day. Look at that. Let's get our homemade stringer. Oh, yes. You're going to taste so, so good. We went clear across the lake. Uh, I'm headed back towards the launch now. I'm gonna call it quits. I've got my two crappie that I wanted for dinner. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Really wanna thank you for all the support that y'all show me. The comments, if y'all have anything that you would like to say, leave that down below. Before I go, uh, if you noticed the art that I have at the end of my videos, that was done by a, uh, a good a co-worker of mine and if you're trying to start your own channel and you want to uh, do some artwork shoot his email is listed in the description below shoot him an email work something out see if he can you know uh, do up your artwork what I did was drew my own and then I gave it to him and he just basically touched it up and made it really really nice so uh, yeah with well, that being said that's all I have for you guys tight lines till next time Ah, you idiot. <laughs> it's getting all wet. And I, I, this is not...